What's up everyone? The Boulder Boulder here. Today I'm going to be doing my first Hero Factory mock review of the year. And this is my new mock named Life 4.0. His full name is Jordan Life 4.0. And so as you can see he has a sword and shield which is not very common for a hero to have. Um, I'll get to the reason why he has all this stuff um, in a moment, but first I'll just talk about the figure and then I'll get to his backstory in a moment. So, as you can see the color scheme is blue and white and I have light blue right here on his mask and right here on his back and I have the just normal Hero Factory legs, which you would probably see on a set. The arms are a little bit different from what you might see. Right here I have white armor right here, and this Hero Factory chest piece on his shoulder, uh, mainly to add some bulk to it, to make him seem a bit stronger because he is a pretty strong guy and he has these blue spikes right here on his shoulder and right down here on his arm and just give you another full 360 view and as you can see I incorporated bionicle elements into this Hero Factory mock mainly because I wanted to do something by using bionicle parts on a hero factory mock so this was the result and I'd have to say it looks pretty cool <laughs> and um, show you here on the back I have this light blue foot that actually came from the bionicle glatorian um, Kina and the mask is from Barracks and the main reason I have this light blue here is mainly just to complement the colors on his helmet and to cover up his back so it's got two different uses practically it's looks pretty nice so now I'll get to his backstory Life and a very close friend of his named Boulder 4.0, which um, they are such close friends that consider each other brothers. And they were both originally created during the 1.0 series and looked pretty much like any average hero you would see. They both were a bit higher rank than some of the other heroes, so they had one big weapon arm and one normal arm, like you would see on the Hero Factory Team Alpha in their 1.0 forms. But now, obviously, he's been completely changed there are many differences from his 1.0 form and same with his brother and he eventually did get the 2.0 upgrade where he got more gadgets, got taller, got new armor and everything and his 3.0 form which he did not get an animal form because he was not needed on the planet of Quatros, because Team Alpha was actually the only team that went to Quatros to take care of the Witch Doctor and prevent him from destroying the planet by stealing the Quaza. And now here he is in 4.0 form. But during his 3.0 form, he was completely changed. Looks totally different from what he used to. 
He originally used to just be blue and black, but now he's different. His 3.0 form, which actually isn't that much different from this version except for his 4.0 upgrade, he just got stronger armor and got a longer charge for his hero core, which is more makes him more powerful. So, him and his brother, Boulder 4.0, actually are now biomechanical. Unlike any of the other Hero Factory heroes, him and his brother are biomechanical. The reason they are biomechanical is because Professor Zib, the main engineer and pretty much the person who does a lot of things for the Hero Factory actually wanted to perform an experiment to see if it was possible to combine robotics with a life form which is what he successfully did with a life and boulder and now since they are biomechanical, they have to eat and sleep and pretty much everything else a normal living being would need to do. And whenever they're sleeping, they actually have dreams, which when the first time Jordan Life had a dream, he didn't know what it was until Professor Zib told him what a dream was. He knew that eventually they would they would become um, they would eventually have a dream, and so Professor Zib had to tell Life in Boulder what a dream was and what causes it, and he went into the science of it all, and now it's just become a common thing for him. Like normal living beings would have dreams, it's pretty common to have a dream. So, now um, Life and Boulder are now just used to it. And with being biomechanical, he has likes and dislikes like any normal person. And I w would say similar to like a bionicle, really. So, as you can see, his weapon of choice is the sword and shield, which really seemed to interest him ever since he became biomechanical. And so, that's his weapon of choice. He is able to deflect attacks from enemies and be able to fight back. Or if they use any projectiles, it actually has an invisible cover right here for his hand to prevent anything from hurting him. Or he could deflect using his sword, make it bounce back, or he could just attack them with the sword. But usually, he's not the first to attack. It's usually the enemy. The only time he really decides to attack anyone is if he knows uh, some villain is about to commit a crime or if they have actually attacked him already so that is about it for now uh, I will see you guys in my next video very soon and so please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to see even more interesting mocks like this and be sure to check out my Facebook and Blogspot pages. And I will see you guys again very soon. Goodbye for now.